democracy has accepted the most fallen wretched person without any devotion and submission to his own self a person like me most reversal gurudev has accepted and repeatedly showered his mercy even though incapable of you know even receiving it but this is the nature of the transcendence that they don't see the merits and demerits of the living entities and unconditionally they shower their mercy the difference between the material mercy and uh, mercy of a transcendental personality is that materialistic persons they do a favor to others or they shower so called mercy on others only if they see some benefit only if they think that there is some you know benefit that one can gain but transcendental personalities spiritual personalities their mercy is unconditional and uncontaminated by any material flavor even a tinge of a material flavor is not present in their mercy so today is the disappearance of such you know associate of shla uh, associate of shla bhakti dayita madhav goswami maharaj and uh, our object of worship shri radha krishna so we were listening to the past times of most revered shla gurudev in hindi just a while ago how shla guru maharaj had you know exhibited the past times of complete inner absorption outwardly he presented it as if he is not well health wise he is not good but inwardly how much of internal mood of submission and remembrance of hari guru vaishnavas he was in he had repeatedly revealed in very du- during uh, various past times but it is due to our own conditioned nature we are not able to no understand him we were completely you know misunderstanding that transcendental position of most revered shri gurudev but every time we do that he was again revealing to us that he is not any ordinary person suffering like an ordinary mortal man in a hospital he repeatedly revealed to us that he is coming from a transcendental abode most revered shri gurudev he was exhibiting externally or superficially was exhibiting the past times of severe sickness we had taken him to gwalpada on his desire after you know he exhibited you know deep desire to go there we took him there while at gwalpada he performed past times like the shadago swamis हे राधे ब्रज देविके च ललिते हे नंद सुनो कुत श्री गोवर्धन कल्प पाद पतले कालिंदी वन्ने कुत घोषंता विति ब्रजपुरे खेदैर महा विहवलो वंदे रूप सनातनो रघु युगौ श्री जीव गोपालको दे वर लामेंटिंग दे वर रिपेंटिंग दे वर यू नो इन कांस्टेंट ग्रीफ हे राधे ब्रज देविके च हे ललिते हे नंद सुनो कुत वेर आर यू आई एम सर्चिंग फॉर यू वेर आर यू हे ललिते हे विशाखे हे राधे हे कृष्ण श्री गोवर्धन कल्प पादपतले आर यू अंडर द यू नो शेल्टर ऑफ गोवर्धन अ ट्री अंडर एट द फुट ऑफ गोवर्धन कालिंदी वन्ने कुत और ऑन द यू नो फॉरेस्ट ऑन द बैंक ऑफ कालिंदी रिवर 
Ghoshantaviti Sarvato Brajapure. In this manner, they were shouting in deep disdain. Where are you? Where are you? Where can I find you? Khedair Mahavihvala. Mahavihvala means deep, utter. You know, Mahavihvala, utterly in grief. In separation of Radha Krishna, they were searching all around. When most reversal of Gurudev came to Gwalpada Dham, he was exactly performing these pastimes. Where are you? Where are you? He is asking us, take me here, take me there, take me here, take me there. We, we took him all around Gwalpada, to Brahmaputra banks, to the mat, to the Janmasthan, to Harisabha, everywhere. We took Guru Maharaj to all the places. Where are you? Where are you? Shouting. Why? Separation. In deep separation of his own dearmost object of worship, he is not able to tolerate. We are thinking, whom is he searching? Is he searching for a person who is invisible? Yes, he is searching for a person who is invisible for us. But like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was maddened, in search of Supreme Lord Shri Krishna, he is seeing a tree and maybe he is, there is God. He is going to the Chatak Parvat, there is God. He is going to the Singhadwar in Jagannath Puri, there is Krishna. He is going to the you know Goshala, there is Krishna. So, in a maddened state, he was going all around. Most Rivashila Gurudev performed you know, what, you know, these are not limited to scriptures unless until we don't see them first hand, we can't believe, we think that is such a thing possible. But most reversal of Gurudev had, you know, performed these pastimes in, of complete absorption and then he had shown that what it means to be mad after Krishna and his devotees. And during this process, the, it was in September 2020, uh, 2013, it was very, very hot, very hot in Gwalpada. Sun was shining heavily and then a lot of sweating, perspiration. So, all of that took some effect on his body. Now, again, when I say the body, his body is not material body. We should not consider that, you know, when we are in sun, our body is affected. Similarly, his body is also affected. We have to understand here that, you know, he is, you know, only performing some pastimes to show that even, you know, while like an ordinary person, how one can perform those pastimes. You think that, oh, one has to be, you know, having, you know, a supramundane body to be able to relish all these things. He is telling, he is giving, you know, this kind of, you know, teaching to all of us that even in an ordinary body, how one can perform Hari Bhajan, even though his body is not ordinary. He could have, you know, performed the pastimes of, you know, good health all through his life. How can he, they grow old? How can they become sick? Transcendental objects, they never grow old. They never become sick. But there is a purpose behind all these actions. There is a purpose. If we are surrendered to the absolute plane, we will be able to understand. But if we go with a challenging mood or if we think that, oh, it's the same, then we will be deprived of the actual, you know, uh, beauty of the absolute real. So, most reward Srila Gurudev was to be admitted, to be brought to Gauhati and uh, was admitted in the hospital and he didn't stay there for more than two days. We brought him to Gauhati Mat and there he performed, you know, pastimes for two months <coughs> till he further intensified his sickness pastimes. The more he is trying to intensify his sickness pastimes, I see it as the more he has given us an opportunity to engage more deeply and deeply in his service. Because the mind, if the mind is elsewhere, 
then the service is not possible. He is intensifying his pastimes of deep absorption and thereby kind of a sickness, external manifestation of sickness. But by this, he was basically trying to, you know, bring our mind completely in his, you know, service mood. He intensified the pastimes and on the 28th of November, in the night, you know, or in the morning, early hours of 28th, he did not wake up. The whole night he did not wake up. He slept around 7 or 8. That day he was doing the Mandir Parikrama for several times, many times he did Parikrama. Every day he was doing on the wheelchair, searching, his search for Krishna would begin every day. Every day means no time. This time, that time, his search for Krishna would begin. Take me out, take me there, bring me to, to that place. He would ask us to, you know, take him around and then we would just get him around the temple only. The, the you know, the location is changing, so he is thinking that probably we are taking to several places because he is completely absorbed. Like when Mahaprabhu was completely absorbed, he was thinking that he is going to Vrindavan Dham, but Nityananda Prabhu tricked him to Shantipur. He could not realize, Mahaprabhu could not realize that he is going to Shantipur. He was thinking that he is going to Vrindavan. So similarly, Guru Maharaj, you know, he was in search of Krishna, but we were, you know, only taking him around the temple. On that day, he did Mandir Parikrama for several times, many, many times he did. And then, in the night, he slept evening. So we thought that maybe he is very tired, overly tired, so he is taking rest. In the night, we tried to wake him up for dinner, he didn't wake up. I said, okay, let him take rest. He didn't wake up the whole night. I thought he is tired so much. We didn't think that, you know, uh, he is like, you know, into entering into a different, you know, realm altogether. We didn't realize this. So in the morning, also at 5 o'clock, he did not, you know, really wake up or he did not show any signs of even, you know, turning or, you know, any movements in the body. He did not show even any sign of, even one is in, you know, deep sleep, there will be some signs of movement. He didn't show any signs of movement also. Then we thought there is something wrong. And then immediately we checked his, you know, body vitals. Sorry again to use the word. And we thought that they are not so nice. So we immediately called for the ambulance. We took him to GNRC hospital. And in the GNRC hospital, doctors diagnosed and they told that very shortly, at best five days, he will be leaving all of us. So that was a very, very, you know, uh, you can say thunder bolt in the heart of all the sevaks particularly. And uh, we had a duty of informing everyone. We informed all the Vaishnavas, the God, uh, Guru Maharaj God Brothers, governing body members, and other persons whom we have contact. We informed them. Because the doctor told that all the near and dear ones should come and take his darshan at the earliest. And within no time, within no time, all the devotees had come to, Gualpa, to Gauhati. It has not happened once. It has happened again in Calcutta when Guru Maharaj was performing severe sickness pastimes in 2017. It was informed that you know Guru Maharaj is you know very severely, gravely ill and uh, you know uncertain period for all of us. So then also many persons instantly they booked their tickets and they came to Calcutta. I can't really believe, I can't really understand to what degree Guru Maharaj had attracted the hearts of all the living entities. It's completely beyond my understanding that simply a small word that Guru Maharaj, there is some uncertainty, not even a moment was spared to think what is the price of the ticket, whether I should go or not. Immediately, instantly people came, the devotees came there. It is not 
द ग्लोरी ऑफ द डिवोटिस आई वुड से इट इज द ग्लोरी ऑफ गुरु महाराज इट इज हिज ग्लोरी दैट हाउ ही कुड एट्रैक्ट इवन सो मेटीरियली कंटेमिनेटेड पर्सन लाइक अस those who are constantly engrossed only in material thoughts how could he even you know attract our minds instantly not even thinking about money which we are always thinking about i let me postpone because today flight prices are more but nobody even thought of it instantly devotees came it was a flood of devotees that you know entered into gauhati mat and guru maharaj was you know performing severe pastimes of inner absorption not even you know a trace of movement was seen in him all the devotees who came there they just left their bags in the mat and they immediately came to the hospital the entire hospital climate in a fraction of a second turned into a devotional environment it didn't take long time to convert it because tirthi kurvant tirthani wherever the pure devotees stay they immediately make that place into a tirtha a pilgrim place so all the devotees the flood of the devotees came to gnrc hospital and they were waiting in queues to take darshan of guru maharaj this is the glory of guru maharaj that how he could you know hospital is an environment where we would always want to stay away from nobody would want to go and stay in the hospital or would want to go there but here is a personality who had completely changed the ambience and everyone now is not leaving the hospital just the opposite you see what is the difference between matter and spirit instantly the the presence of a devotee surcharges even that matter into a spirit everybody would do all their daily duties only in the hospital hoping that guru maharaj is going to do some miracle for sure there is a hope that he is going to do some miracle because doctor told only miracle can save nothing else and the devotees have complete faith that guru maharaj can do any kind of miracle he wants so but only submission surrender is required and all the devotees were eagerly waiting for that miraculous moment to come and guru maharaj did not disappoint any of his disciples who had come all the way from various places he did not disappoint them you see such an affectionate master he is you do a bit for him he is there to give entire of his self to you that is the kind of affection the love that he has to each and every person who had submitted to him or at least a faint mood of submission to him within two days guru maharaj had exhibited some kind of a movement in his body a little movement that itself was a miracle for all of us not only for us for the doctors particularly who were shocked spellbound by his you know how could this happen at all i still remember that entire episode is in front of my eyes dr partho he comes there you know in a you know brisk he comes there and he is like you know taking the papers guru maharaj uh, you know what do you call ct scans or whatever are there he is taking the reports in his hand oh this is a clear case of surgery why is doctor not performing surgery there was a glow of hope in all of us yes no the doctor is building that hope in us yes there is a you know surgery by surgery it will happen so we were thinking oh very very nice this doctor is the right person he should go so dr nc bora who was the chief uh, person who under whom guru maharaj was getting treated he went to dr bora and then he came with a with his head hanging you know means his opinion has been changed now that you know operation is not a solution so we were disappointed so guru maharaj was taking us through some phases of you know happiness and then again some kind of you know lack of hope 
all this you know very very i'm i'm saying it's very purifying to me because you know just remembrance of such great personalities you know is so very you know is transcendental even that little moment we can come in contact with the transcendence so then the third day mr dr partha comes and then he says hey do you see the charm on the face of maharaj he saw something that we didn't see we couldn't see so you see maharaj's face is glowing you see there is some movement it is he who had observed it first and then he told us and we were delighted to the core of our heart wow there is something and the do- doctor was not only you know convinced that there is some you know glow on his face he was asking his colleagues the senior junior, junior doctors who came accompanied him don't you see don't you see don't you see and that day i i still remember those who have come there i think many of you who are you know who are sitting here they they were also present at the time the darshan on that particular day was totally different all the devotees were feeling that their prayers are answered that guru maharaj is giving hope and you know their faith in his mystic activities is you know has been you know kept intact so fifth day passed sixth day passed and you know we are i was approaching dr gora saying that doctor fifth day has passed does it mean that you know the what do you call critical period is over <laughs> i was so crazy i mean it was good that i was crazy so i approached doctor no 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 it doesn't mean it has passed you know i said five days it doesn't mean literally five days but he is still critical you know it is very nice out of his mystic powers sadhus have that mystic power out of his own mystic powers he is doing his own miraculous things we have not done anything it is he who is doing it so just have faith in him that's all with every day passing our hopes are only increasing and suddenly a day comes we had passed through so many days of you know waves of you know hope and no hope one day he suddenly exhibits that he is so nice the other day he is you know exhibiting as if he is totally unwell so constantly bringing our mind in his thoughts in his thoughts of his service this was a greatest purifying time you know usually i think i already told before you know the separation past times of a pure devotee is are you know they they basic, basically burden the heart they are very very burdensome to the heart but somehow in some corner of my heart i feel very delighted rem- remembering these days i don't know the reason only because you know i can probably remember all those incidents that have happened that are so touching and how you know he had engaged us all of us so deeply in his you know uh, you know mental service physical service in all sense of serv- service he had deeply engrossed us we had no thoughts other than you know to serve him i wish such a thing can be simulated again in the in this lifetime again i don't know when it will come but i would i would deeply welcome such a you know at least the artificially simulated you know activity where i can completely absorb a mind heart and body in his service so then we were you know discussing about so many approaches on how to give treatment to him we were very defensive in the very beginning very conservative not trying to you know overly dose him with any medicines or with any other you know treatment processes or surgery processes but going through ups and downs ups and downs until we finally decided that okay let us take this one drastic step that was a very very tricky situation to be in it could have backfired on us also guru maharaj that particular surgery or anything would have counterfired but i would again say 
Guru Maharaj had repeatedly, repeatedly tried to save our face. It is not that we have offered any service to him, I should say, but he had very mercifully accepted whatever service we wanted to offer to him. He saved our face. It, it, the surgery would have totally backfired. Our decision to bring him to Calcutta would have backfired. Our hearts were in our mouth when we brought him to Calcutta. Any time, anything could happen. We were completely doing a 100% risky job. Not even a 1% risk-free job. But it is only Guru Maharaj who had saved our life. You know, devotees not sparing us is a different story. We could have spared our own selves. We could have been feeling guilty for the rest of our lifetime. If anything like that had happened, for the entire of the lifetime, we could not have shown our own, we have seen, we would have seen our own faces in the, in the mirror. Forget about showing to others. But at each and every step, he unconditionally accepted. And, you know, he tried to accept the services. So we, want, we took him for a surgery with a lot of deliberation, discussions with the governing body, with other you know, uh, devotees who are very, very dear to, the, to Guru Maharaj. Those are a lot of love for Guru Maharaj. We took that risk. And during the entire process of surgery, our hearts were beating at a very high rate. And when we were bringing him on a you know, charter plane, our hearts were in the mouth, literally in the mouth. Any time it could come out. When Guru Maharaj was, you know, brought on the shutter plane, because to fly in heights is a risky thing. We have put him on, you know, oxygen support, full oxygen support, 100% oxygen support. We had a doctor, we had a nurse, we were three, four, you know, servants inside the charter plane, total about eight capacity charter plane. And we were sitting at the back, the uh, Guru Maharaj was, you know, lying here and uh, there was a monitor in which the oxygen, the pulse, all these things are being monitored by the doctor, he is sitting there and we were sitting at the back basically, we cannot see the monitor, what is the pulse rate, what is this, what is that, every minute we would go to the doctor, is it okay, is it okay, is it okay, the doctor got vexed up. And every minute he was only turning and showing like this. Okay, okay. So every minute he started doing it because we were so tensed up. What's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? And so much so, at one point in time, Muni Maharaj got up from the seat and he sat on the floor of the charter plane. <laughs> Next to Guru Maharaj. <laughs> Not on the seat, no seat belts, nothing. Just sat on the floor of the charter plane next to the monitor to see whether everything is all. Is the doctor simply saying this or is he really this? Because doctors, they want to sometimes, you know, we are in anxiety to, you know, bring down our anxiety. They simply say this, but he may not be this. So Muni Maharaj sat there and he was personally seeing the monitor and he was doing this. Then he was doing this. Yes, it's okay, good. So, I mean, what I want to tell you is, we can't forget what has happened that day. Not only till we reached Calcutta, up until one week after we reached Calcutta. Because it may have an effect after also. For one week we were tensed up, was our decision to bring him to Calcutta right or wrong? Because there were different opinions, some were telling that he should be brought to Gualpada, some telling that we should bring him, we should keep him in Gauhati only. But somehow he inspired us that we should take him to Calcutta. But is our inspiration from the heart or from the brain or analytical or what it is? Nobody knows. There is no confirmation. He is not assuring. He is not telling. Yes, I want to go. I don't want to go. He is not telling anything. So that was all playing in the dark. Whether we are able to hit the target or not is totally luck. And that luck has favoured us on that day. So we brought him, we got him operated. I'm just trying to, you know, bring parallel between two incidents. 
so the first incident is the surgery that was also a kind of a playing in the dark so that time operation was done and after the operation was performed guru mahara was brought to the to his place and then uh, the doctor tell everything all right because the first assurance we got from the doctor is there are no negative effects of it there may not be any positive effect but there are no negative effects this was the only reason we had gone for a surgery okay so the next day 18th of december was the operation on the 19th of december then guru maharaj had performed another past time wherein he became even more sicker more sick which means it appeared to us as if we have traveled back back 30 days the day we entered into the hospital we are again at the same place after 20 25 days and to tell you the you know that we have our hearts were broken shattered completely is a very very you know what do you call a minimum way of expressing our hearts it was completely shattered we were completely shattered what are we doing what have we done is this right or wrong at that time comes dr bora and then we expressed our heart to him dr bora you know from the very first day he had developed that faith in guru maharaj he used to offer his obeisances to guru maharaj before he would even you know think about giving any treatment to him very faithful person so he you know felt everything and then i expressed in great anxiety i was in very very deeply anxious i was that day i was anxious all the days but that day I was particularly very anxious so i told that you know such and such thing has happened in the afternoon and now i am very worried i am very tensed up what to do then rather than telling that okay we are trying to give medicine we are doing that you know you should be ready for all these things he did not say all these things he simply said one word do you know that guru ji loves you actually it is i would say it is guru maharaj who spoke it through him do you know guru guru ji loves you it was actually of course immediately i couldn't really reflect on it i said yes we know that he loves us but how do you know how do you know that he loves us then he said he was very philosophical on that day very very philosophical the doctors particularly neurologists usually they are i think philosophical and they have to be at one point in time but that day he told you see guru ji has let you perform his services personally you are staying in icu ward next to him this time not two persons four persons five persons are staying with guru maharaj in icu ward he was given a dedicated icu chamber himself he, he has his own room deluxe icu they call it and there is a servant quarters outside and that also ordinarily one or two persons are allowed but we were four or five persons constantly sitting if not more and he told he has given you an opportunity to serve you directly here which hospital which doctor will allow anyone to come and directly you are able to give service to him you are able to bathe him you are able to feed him you are able to you know dress him up you are able to make him sit on this wheelchair you are able to do everything yourself personally what more confirmation is required that he loves you and he is very mercifully accepting all the services you have offered to him so far whatever you are offering he is accepting everything what more confirmation do you need then you know it i didn't reflect really at that point in time what he really meant he said yes it's a confirmation yes he loves us and then he to i asked 
so what is the prognosis what do you how do you want us to see then he told leave it to him that was the only word he used leave it to him and then he went after he went i was just back on my computer searching for this medicine that medicine this treatment why this has happened back on to my computer but i was something was not keeping me at rest that is your gurudev loves you so much leave it to him these are the two statements of the doctor that was putting me at unrest there is some message that guru maharaj wants to convey what is it that guru maharaj wants to say why guru maharaj had inspired the doctor to say that he loves us and why did he ask him to say that leave it to him only i was trying to dig deep into it dig deep into it and then i approached our dr maharaj priyadati maharaj i told that uh, maharaj i somehow feel that guruji is wanting to go out of the hospital now leave it to him when he said that this somehow is occurring to me that you know guru maharaj should be taken out of the hospital now this is my feeling what do you think then maharaj said yes you know we have limit the medical you know limits we have reached the medical limits there is no treatment beyond this i think you know the end point for the medicine has come we have to take him back i said but maharaj i may be wrong in my understanding so i want to have a meeting with the doctor again in the night he said yes let's have a meeting let's try to understand the entire you know what he has to say and then in the night you know uh, we got an appointment i don't really remember the time say 9 o'clock i believe and then dr bora was very you know i should say merciful only to give us whatever time we whenever we asked and whatever amount of time we asked he had mercifully provided it's only by guru maharaj's mercy everything that inspiration comes through guru maharaj only so that evening we had a very very elaborate discussion and i was simply shooting questions at the doctor one after another one after another one after another and he was very patiently re- replying to all those and then finally i came to this point doctor when you said in the afternoon leave it to him it somehow you know appears to me that you are telling bring it bring him back to mat is my understanding according to what you say or what what was your opinion when you said leave it to him then the doctor had explained yes the thing is that we have reached the limit we have given enough things there is no further thing that we can offer to him it is at this time where it can only be you know addressed through love care service and affection that is all that is required now no medicine no doctor can do anything now i believe that you should take him to a place where devotees can meet with him they can get his darshan they can feel that love with him you should take him there in the hospital all of these things are not possible you should take him there then next question there we have a place called mayapur where the place is open you know we have you know what do you call a uh, lot of open space and uh, you know devotees also can stay and guru maharaj can be taken on wheelchair so all these things but no f- medical facilities no doctor available there is calcutta where guru maharaj is you know acclim- acclimatized he is used to that particular climate and he is uh, you know he would usually desire to go there but where there is no you know good amount of space available but doctors are available what do you think you know is the best place for him doctor told mayapur take him to mayapur so which means he has actually completed lift his, lifted his hands up we are done so that was his take on it so take him to mayapur let devotees come let them meet keep him in an open environment don't worry about infection don't worry about all these things let devotees shower you know show their love and let him shower his love on them this was the verdict of the doctor now when he said take him to mayapur that was like a great shock to us 
like which means completely hopeless situation so again guru maharaj please guide us please guide us because he is the only one who is going to show us the light gyana deepa prade guru he is the one who is going to enlighten the path for us guru maharaj please show us a path again discussion chandigarh kolkata mayapur guwahati gwalpada five options which option to take and there are 5000 devotees so many challenges <laughs> so many challenges and you know 5000 devotees can never have one opinion singular opinion but what is the opinion of guru maharaj nobody knows i mean i i i cannot say that nobody knows but at least i don't know at least some of us who were directly serving guru maharaj they don't know so we somehow gwalpada and gauhati have been time is up time is up no 8:30 okay no <laughs> 9 o'clock again kirtan begins i have not actually come to the pa- you know disappearance past times yet you know we are very far from disappearance past times <laughs> we are still in his past times but anyway i'll conclude this in a very short time so gauhati gwalpada okay we are not going there now remains chandigarh mayapur kolkata so chandigarh was coming up that we should take him there doctors are available open space is also that was the reason basically doctor is also there good space is also there climate is good there is no pollution so this is very nice and devotees can come they can stay and we were thinking okay, let us take him to chandigarh it was almost you can say almost decided but some part of the sevaks it is telling that we should go to calcutta or mayapur some part of it and uh, some part of it is telling that okay chandigarh but where can we get the confirmation within ourselves there is some difference of opinions where to go where not to go so that night it was 22nd of december i believe that night guru maharaj performed some other past time in the night middle of the night severely more severely ill so then uh, i called all the you know i was there vedati maharaj was there muni maharaj was there all of us went inside guru maharaj's room and we prayed to guru maharaj we offered our obeisances guru maharaj if you don't like we will not go to chandigarh we just prayed if you don't like we will not go to chandigarh we prayed this came out next day morning he was all right <laughs> <laughs> so that was a confirmation okay so we are not going to chandigarh so three options are gone now we have mayapur and calcutta so now where to go doctor told mayapur so if guru maharaj spoke through the mouth of the doctor that you know he loves you and you know you should leave it to him we should also be following this mayapur thing going to mayapur so we were thinking of mayapur and then uh, we were trying to set the you know house in calcutta uh, in calcutta also simultaneously and mayapur we were trying to get preparations you know whether we can get oxygen cylinder what all you know facilities are required we were trying meanwhile i called dr amitabh mukherji to just inform him that we are coming to bengal and uh, that he can assist us from the airport to bring a ambulance and go all the way with us to mayapur so that you know if anything happens because guru maharaj has a lot of love and affection towards you you should be with us and uh, you know we will be assured he told wow when i remember all these things it's actually it brings some goosebumps in me doctor uh, the doctor told you see in 2013 when uh, guru maharaj was about to go to gwalpada before he performed intense sickness past time before he was about to go to gwalpada narayan maharaj from mayapur came to calcutta no he was in calcutta in fact that time so he came to guru maharaj and he told guru maharaj you please come to mayapur you please come to mayapur 
then because guru maharaj was repeatedly telling i'll go to gwalpada i'll go to gwalpada then we try to you know send different persons mishra ji you go and convince guru maharaj narayan maharaj you go and convince guru maharaj acharya maharaj you please go and convince guru maharaj we were trying various you know tricks so that his gwalpada trip is postponed now when narayan maharaj went and asked uh, maharaj please come to mayapur then guru maharaj told at that time dr mukherjee was also present guru maharaj told sheshe jabo i'll go at my end it has two meanings i'll go at the end you know of my earthly pastimes that is one meaning the second meaning is the you know the dol purnima or uh, what do you call the gaur purnima festival is almost the year end of bengal so that sheshe jabo might mean that he wants to go at the year end for the gaur purnima festival but sheshe jabo could also mean he wants to go at the end of his life of his material is uh, mortal in uh, you know, a past times on this mortal plane so you know why i brought this point is dr mukherji reminded me at that time that maharaj when i called him from gauhati that you have to accompany us gurudev to mayapur he told yes i remember maharaj told me sheshe jabo so you see how you know each and everything is so deeply getting in the heart of a doctor does not have to remember you know what guru maharaj said sheshe jabo i have not remembered i mean i didn't remember at that time but he remembered and he reminded me that he is telling sheshe jabo so is it that you know that has come i said doctor you have to say the doctors here are telling that they should he should be taken to mayapur first so what we think according to his suggestion is that we will take you know break in a hospital for 2 3 days in calcutta in icu and after his vitals are stabilized we will take him to mayapur because you know if he does a continuous travel for such a long hours it may it may be difficult so we will take a, a, we will get into a icu very close to the airport and then after 2 3 days of rest he will be taken to mayapur then he told see if you want to do that why don't you want to do it in the mat only why do you want to put him in icu i said icu because if some you know vitals are disturbed here and there he said no let us provide icu facilities in the mat only let's do that so and then you know whatever our madhusudan maharaj sadhu maharaj maybe also damodar maharaj three of them they came to calcutta to you know set things right and you know prepare an icu kind of a thing they were in touch with dr mukherjee was in calcutta and then finally he came and settled in calcutta after 4 days 5 days 6 days we thought okay he is okay here why to go to mayapur let him be settled here if anything we think that you know is going to happen we will take him let, let him be here so that way guru maharaj chose his own place to stay in calcutta all the options we had you know we were you know five directional you know which direction we should take but slowly one after another he had cut down all the options and he ultimately chose where he wanted to be that is calcutta and that's how he you know you know showered his love mercy service opportunity and everything you know to all of us so anyway you know his glories are unlimited i can just go on speaking but there is a time 9 o'clock uh, kirtan is going to begin so thank you very much for inspiring me to speak about gurudev i pray at the feet of most reverse lord gurudev repeatedly that may he shower his mercy make make me his, uh, his servant birth after birth and uh, you know make me his uh, you know one uh, one pointedly devoted to his lotus feet birth after birth vancha kalpatarubhyascha kripa sindubhya eva cha patitanam pavanebhyo vaishnavebhyo namo namo क्या बोल रहे हैं जय 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 श्री श्री गुरु गौरांग गांधर्व का गिरिधारी श्री श्री राधा मदन मोहन पंच तत्वात्मक श्री गौरहरि की जय परमाराधित पतित पावन
माधव गोस्वामी महाराज की जय जगत गुरु श्री भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर गुरु पाद की जय श्री रूपानुग गुरु वर्ग की जय श्री रूप सनातन भट्ट रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भट्ट दास रघुनाथ षड गोस्वामी प्रभु की जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि श्री गौर भक्त वृंद की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय जय सपरिक श्री राधा मदन मोहन श्री राधा गोविंद श्री राधा गोपीनाथ जीव की जय जय श्री श्री चैत्र मासे कृष्ण पक्षीय नवमी तिथि वरा की जय जय मित्रीला प्रविष्णु विष्णुपाल विष्णु श्री श्रीमद भक्ति बल्लभ तीर्थ गोस्वामी महाराज शुभ तिरुभा तिथि पूजा की जय समागत हरिकथा श्रवण करे भक्त वृंद की जय श्री हरिणाम प्रभु की जय श्री हरिणाम